Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. And if it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, guys, I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the Capricorn full strawberry moon that's out here. Hopefully you get a chance to see it and, you know, soak up all that good regenerative energy, right? I know this is definitely a time to meditate, rest, prioritize yourself, love yourself, focus on yourself, okay? <laughs> definitely, you know, kind of get back to you because this hot mess that's going on around you ain't got nothing to do with you, right? <laughs> So the energy that's coming out is a, a continuation of the past uh, readings that I've had. You had to back away from something and you were being called to do so for a very, very good reason, right? Whatever the situation was, uh, somebody put you in the middle of some mess and it had nothing to do with you. I feel like you, you were trying to like help out in the situation or you were being saddled with a responsibility that was not yours. Somebody tried to put a whole bunch of stuff on you at the last minute. You're just like, whoa, 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 hold up here. And it had you overwhelmed, right? And it was that moment of pause where you had to decide, do I continue in the situation that's got me stressed out or do I move forward and cut out and, you know, get out of here, right? Now, the last reading, you were being called to go ahead and back away. I was getting that message very specifically. You literally were being called to back away from the situation for a very good reason. Let's get into it, okay? Whoever you backed away from, you did ultimately make that decision because you backed away. Whoever that is, is now feeling in the hermit and the inverse very isolated, rejected, lonely, you know what I'm saying? They, they feel cast away. Yes, because they put you, them or somebody else, put you in the middle of some stuff that didn't have nothing to do with you and you were trying to handle it the best way that you could. You know what I'm saying? Place the energy wherever it resonates. If this is an ex and they got like a karmic fighting over you, you know, the karmic all up in your business, you're like, who is this person, right? Um, I do get a lot of work situations. So if this is work, this will be like a work situation that popped up all of a sudden and like everything just went haywire. And you were like the only person that was like man enough, woman enough to do it. You know what I'm saying? So everything was just like crumbling and you were the only one standing up like, fine, whatever, I'll get it done. But it was stressing you out at the same time. You know what I'm saying? You were being called to step away. Now that you did, this person feels some type of way. Now they're having to deal with this crap by themselves. There was a reason for this, y'all. Y'all were not supposed to be in the middle of this. That is exactly why you were getting guidance to do so. Um, this They're coming out right next to this Five of Wands energy, next to the Three of Cups, which is very, very interesting. So one, they feel isolated from you because you kind of left it out in the cold, but whatever, they left you out in the cold, so it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But now they're having to deal with this Five of Wands by themselves. This conflict, this, this rivalry, this competition, they're having to deal with this themselves, and they kind of feel like out on a lonely island right now because they're having to figure out how to deal with it, right? With this three of cups, some type of group. It's like there, it's like I feel like two factions, right? If this is your ex, this is the ex, the ex's family versus the karmic family. If this is like a job situation, this is your boss versus uh, you, the boss versus you know everybody else that's against your boss. You know, you were like trying to help out, figure out the situation. Everybody's like, nah, I'm not trying to back you up, you know, whatever. So you do out, you know what I'm saying? So now whoever this person is got to handle this crap on their own against whoever these three of cups people is this group who are trying to win so you got like two different groups of people that are trying to win is what i'm feeling like and it's it's a whole lot right and you know what i'm talking about because this would have been the exact same position that you were going to be in it would have felt like you would have had a lot of eyes on you a lot of like are you, are you going to take care of this you know what i'm saying like this is the the feeling and here's the confirmation seven of wands see now they feel like they had you feeling like you had to stand up for yourself, like how you had to defend yourself. Now they feel like it because now they're having to deal with this on their own. Y'all place energy with whoever this resonates with. Um, you know who it is because you're the one that left them to deal with it by themselves instead of you. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, if this is an ex situation, this would be like the ex trying to be like, no, you need to handle this, this, and this responsibility, you know, when our, because our relationship broke down. Or now, now you got to deal with the karmic because the karmic hates your guts and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Or this is like a friend or a family member, you know, trying to be like, well, I need you to do this for me and like last minute and just kind of like saddle you with all the stuff. And again, I do get work situations. I am getting money as involved in this some way. I'm getting very specific downloads about a money situation. We did have the Ten of Pentacles come out in our last reading, so that has to do with foundation, stability. Somebody's fighting over money. You owe them money. They owe you money, and you're the only one trying to figure it out. I feel like there's a lot of blame. A lot of blame in this situation. Everybody's pointing fingers. 
A lot of people blaming each other. That's why you got somebody trying to stand up and defend themselves. I feel a lot of blame. Y'all, y'all didn't have no business in the middle of this in the first place. <laughs> okay. You had no business in the middle of this, which is why this temperance and the inverse energy is coming out next to the person that you left to handle them. Handle their business. Handle this stuff yourself. Okay. This temperance. The energy that I get from this is exactly the temperance and the inverse energy. They're imbalanced in their emotions. They're imbalanced in their temperament. This person will be pissed off right now. They feel some type of way that they got to handle this all by themselves. I do feel a very erratic energy, imbalanced energy from this person. Um, I do feel um, this uh, temperance in the inverse does carry the energy of, you know, doing things in excess and indulgence. I feel like somebody did something on the slick tip, like underhanded is what I'm getting, especially if this has to do with money. Somebody cheated something. Somebody cheated the system is what I'm hearing. Somebody cheated the system with this temperance and the inverse energy. Somebody, y'all didn't have no business in the middle of this, okay? Because <laughs> whatever the situation was, somebody was doing some underhanded stuff. This is exactly what I'm getting in the temperance and the inverse energy. Something had to do with money. Somebody was stealing, um, cheating the system, something. The moment that you left, that was when they felt it was safe to do this. Y'all, if y'all would have been in the middle of this, you would have been caught up in it too. I'm glad that y'all got out because you didn't have no business in the middle of what I'm picking up in the downloads. And whatever they did, that cheating the system, stealing, whatever they did, they were going to run with it. Very once. That was them waiting for the ships to come in. And they're like, no, I'm going to keep going with this. This is this is my hot lick right here. <laughs> Y'all, this is what I'm getting in my downloads. This is somebody who thought they found the hot, hot lick. You, you're not around, so they can do all the sneaky sauce stuff that they could be like doing. <laughs> not only that, they tapped in. I have Priestess and Ambers, y'all. Mm -mm. Here's where the, the, the ship goes south. This high priestess in the inverse is somebody who does not follow their intuition. They're in league with this person. Whoever this person is that you left to handle their, this business by themselves, they tapped a high priestess in the inverse. Somebody who does not follow their intuition, their secrets are revealed that they are an untrustworthy person. So you got somebody who's real, uh, that is really wanting to do something really underhanded, try to steal and cheat the system in some way is what I'm getting in my downloads. You got two people in league with each other. They're trying to win. Okay, you, you got two people trying to win. Now, when it comes to the, you know, this energy, I do feel more than one person. So if this is one person in your, in your situation, this energy would be all the same person. This person would be somebody who just did something slick to you about whatever the situation was that they tried to put you in the middle of. So again, take the energy as it resonates. If this is one person in your situation or more than one, even though I do feel more than one people in this situation, especially with this five of wands and the three of cups. But whoever this uh, high priestess in the inverse is, this person's stubborn. This person does not like to budge on the way they think about things. This person is, uh, I feel like a martyr. Whoever this person is that carried this um, this ha a hangman in the inverse energy, this is somebody who's very selfish, very stubborn, and there is a martyr going on here. I feel like somebody was just like, I'm going to take the charge and be like, no, this is my standpoint and this is, I'm going to put my stick in the ground and I'm standing on it. This is exactly what I'm feeling for this particular person um, with this hangman and the inverse energy. Again, if it's this person or the person that they tapped taking on this energy, I feel like there was a line drawn in the sand about the situation, especially when somebody was willing to do what I'm pulling in the energy, somebody willing to cheat the system, to steal, you know, to cheat, however they did it. This this was like, all right, cool. I made my move. I'm drawing a line in the sand. This is what I'm pulling. Like, what is this? The, the Hatfields and McCoys? Wow, man. That, that, that dates me, I know, but it goes way back. This is what I'm feeling. It's like a lot of blaming and battling back and forth going on. Y'all are, so, I'm, I'm so glad that y'all are not in the middle of this because this is giving nothing but ego trips, okay? King of Wands in the inverse is coming out next to the Knight of Wands in the inverse. This is somebody who has to have control over something, being very overbearing, egotistical, a lot of egos flaring in this situation. Knight of Wands in the inverse is dim again with the ego. So you got two different energies of an ego. One energy does um, have to do with creativity. Um, in the inverse, it has to do with your ego, right? Moving out of your ego. So your nine of wands is a very quick moving ego, rushing, non-committal energy. You know what I'm saying? Just being very impatient. So you have an impatient person moving in their ego. And that's not a good thing. An imperson, impatient person moving in their ego would be the exact same person that have the temperance in the inverse energy with what I'm pulling in, in my download, y'all. Now we got the two of wands coming out next to the queen of wands in the inverse. 
Y'all, if this ain't an ego trip, I don't know what is, okay? <laughs> this two of wands talks about strategy, planning, insight, right? This also has to do with creative endeavor, so a lot of work situations. So putting all this together, if this is uh, the same person, whoever this was was just running in their ego, but I do feel like there was an untrustworthy person involved in the mix. They tapped the wrong person. To, to be in the middle of their unsavory activities is what I'm pulling in my downloads. Because they were working in their ego, somebody planned something. Whatever this ego trip was, they decided to be a bully about it. Y'all, you absolutely had no business in the middle of this. I'm so glad that y'all stepped away because all they were planning to do about the situation that you were trying to handle the right way, all they wanted to do was just flap their gums and be in their ego. So Queen of Wands in the inverse is that quintessential bully. You know, they're very insecure, they're jealous, they're catty, and they like to bully and argue with people. Were you up for that? I don't think you were up for that. I don't think you were on that timeline at all. So that one of the biggest reasons that you were being called to step away is because that's all these people wanted to do. Argue, bicker, blame, lie, cheat, and steal. And they were all liars, all of them. I don't care who they, who it is. I don't care if it's your ex, you know, who was trying to be like, you need to do this. Well, that person was a stone cold liar themselves. Oh, and their they're karmic, karmic was a stone cold liar. Your boss and your coworker and everybody else that knew about the situation at work, they're all liars. Everybody in, in this situation, there's a lot of blame I'm getting, a lot of um, backstabbing energy, a lot of egos flaring. Nobody's actually talking truth. A lot of people are just lying, cheating, and stealing and just wanting to be a bully about it. Ugh. I'm, you were not supposed to be in the middle of this. Now, um, all this is like kind of come to a head. I feel like a combustion with this two of pentacles and the inverse energy. Now they're overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Now they're overwhelmed. It's like all this, these ego flaring. What is this? Like, a, you know, a, 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 a match dealing with, you know, trying to measure which, you know, which wand is bigger. You know what I'm saying? Like all this one energy, whose ego is bigger? Who's, whose mouth is loudest? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I feel like it boiled down to about something that somebody was squabbling about. Something had to do with some money in this particular situation, but now all this blaming, all this arguing, all this bickering and bullying has now got this person that you left out in the cold overwhelmed with this two of pentacles because they found out two of cups in the inverse. Somebody was a disloyal friend mm. telling you, whoever this high priestess is, now y'all got two energies out here, two energies out here that confirms that whoever your this uh, hermit in the inverse person is tapped in somebody who was untrustworthy. They couldn't rely on them. They thought they can pull that slick move to try to lie, cheat, and steal to get over them some money. They did it with the wrong person. They legit did it with the wrong person. They, you know, them being overwhelmed is directly next to this two of cups in the inverse. This person is an un, a disloyal friend. This is somebody who is possibly some unrequited love. And this just uh, deals with relationship problems in general. They got a problem with the people they teamed up with. Yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm telling y'all, that is exactly why the most high was pulling you out of this situation. Ain't nobody was on the same level that you were. And I said on my last reading, um, you were being called to pull out of the situation. You were gonna be seen as a star anyway. You know, you don't have to kind of jump in to save the day. And this is a prime example why, you know what I'm saying? If you were to jump in to save the day, you would have been right in the middle of these people ego trips, right in the middle with the disloyal friend that this person just found out about y'all i'm telling y'all when the most high taps you and said back up it's time to back up you know what i'm saying collective somebody was a disloyal friend we got two energies confirming that you know what i'm saying now oh boy or oh girl with the hermit in the inverse energy <laughs> is carrying the eight of wands this is movement travel speed and relocation they want to get the heck out of dodge away from this person that they figured out that he couldn't trust mm. So if this is your ex, this is them finding out their, their karmic one nothing, okay? This is, if this is your boss, this is your boss finding out your coworker was a whole sack of lies. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this person is, they figured out who the liar was. I mean, they are too, but at the same time, these egos are flying. Somebody got found out that they were they were not a trustworthy friend. You know what I'm saying? So now somebody wants to get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, and this is coming out right next to the five of pentacles in the inverse. Somebody is trying to recover. This is financial recovery. I told y'all something had this, uh, something to do with money. I am getting this in this downloads. We had the 10 of pentacles come out in my prior read and then this download with this temperance in the inverse. Something had to do with money, okay? There's temp uh, five of pentacles in the inverse. This is, um, you know, renewed recovery, financial recovery, trying to come back from out of the cold, you know what I'm saying? So somebody's trying to recover from this huge debacle 
of just bickering contests, blaming, and just like trying to do some underhanded stuff. You know what I'm saying? And our last clarifier for this particular reading is the tower in the inverse. Somebody wants to release this energy. Somebody wants to release this untrustworthy friend, right? Whoever this person is, I don't necessarily think that, that you are, you know, are too, too keen on, you know, welcoming back with open arms. That would be up to you, Collective. But I do feel like, one, this energy, Herman in the inverse, they feel like they had to deal with it by themselves. And quite right, you were not supposed to be in the, in the middle of this, this stuff. Because all they were going to do was just like some bickering, blaming match. And nobody was being honest. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this Tower in the inverse energy, whoever this is that, you know, kind of felt on the outs from you, they got played. They did, you know what I'm saying? They got betrayed, you know? So it's like, they gotta, they feel like they gotta get the heck away from the person that betrayed them. You know what I'm saying? This is an energy of release, you know, being able to start fresh and going with the flow. They don't want nothing to do with this person. And I feel like something came out about the money that they tried to steal, um, the situation that had to do with pinnacles, something that they took, something that they were not trustworthy with. They should not have been in the middle of doing this because all they were gonna do was let their ego talk and just be a bully about it. You know, so whoever this is, this hermit in the inverse person is, they want to get the heck out of Dodge. Um, let's go ahead and get an astrology card so we can see what energy is at work here. Card 52, void of course moon. Yep, this we're definitely talking about moon energy. A lot of people in their emotions, you know, things that are hidden, things that are, um, you know, un unseen and things of that nature. So, you know, this Capricorn moon, this is really revealing people who are on your side and who are not on your side. And it's definitely coming out in this energy, y'all. All is not as it seems. This void, of course, moon card can be daunting. It may not be a good or appropriate time to answer your questions. As it is now, the results may not be what you want. What is the void, of course, moon? The moon travels through the entire zodiac in 27 and a half days. There is a moment when the moon makes its last major aspect before leaving one sign and entering the next, as if, it's the, as if the moon has gone to sleep. Her wisdom is being withheld until she moves into a new sign and the moon begins a new chapter or story. The usual axiom for starting things on a void of course moon is nothing will come of the matter. Matters will not go as you plan. In fact, most of the time, it will end up far worse than you plan. You have been caught blissfully unaware. You've missed something or you are paying too close attention, but you won't be able to set the situation right at the current time. This card says to sit still and stay as you are. Take no action at the current time. Wait for the storm to pass over. It is a time to be patient and allow matters to settle before beginning anew. Allow this matter to resolve on its own without your help, work, or interference. Um, don't bail anyone out or make loans currently because it is unlikely to be repaid. <laughs> Medical results will probably be uh, inaccurate. And if your question is about a job or career move, then it's not the right one. If you apply for a job and get hired, it will not be long lasting. It's possible you will get hired and then a more suitable job will come along and you will have to leave for the first one. Play, uh, people around you may start behaving like screw-ups. It could be that great passions are playing against you. Discipline is needed. It is not a time to act impulsively. Whatever you do as your daily routine, it will still need to be as it is. However, matters that are unplanned or spontaneous will tend to work out for you. Avoid, of course, moon can be used to your benefit. So keep this in mind when this card shows up in a spread. For instance, you can work on something, something that you really don't want. You can interact with persons that you really don't want to become a fixture in your life. Embarking on anything new or untried will tend to go wrong. In other words, when the Void of Course Moon card presents itself in a spread, if you agree to plans you really don't want to come about, then it will very likely then not come about. However, meditation and any type of physical or spiritual efforts will work out better when the Void of Course Moon turns up. It's a good time to dream or even make plans. Just do not act on them yet. Um, and this is exactly the energy that I'm feeling because all this this energy that you know this this particular person and or people were having, planning and plotting, blaming, trying to you know steal and be untrustworthy, all this backfired on this. This is like a huge betrayal. This is the backfire, and it's all because of this energy, right? Let's get a vision of duality and we'll wrap it up. Card 12, betrayal. What I tell y'all. <laughs> Oh my God. And it's just like the, the person who got left out in the cold to deal with them themselves. I'm pretty sure that you feel that they betrayed you. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a situation that's like, you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? We can be betrayed and we can betray. If we do or act as something that we are not, we are betraying ourselves. After that, it takes the longest time before we can forgive ourselves and start rebuilding what we have destroyed. 
This betrayal executes our soul and is not worth it, no matter how precious the traitor's reward is offered. If one cannot say no, it can at least not say yes, and woe comes to those who betray themselves without realizing it. Advice, be true to yourself and others will have a chance to be true to you. Yep, and this is exactly, um, you know, the energy that I feel here. Um, and there's a quote here, it says, it is easier to forgive an enemy than to forgive a friend. Yep, whoever this person is, this friend, whoever this untrustworthy friend is, this two of cups in the inverse, this high priestess in the inverse, I think that person is going to have a hard time being forgiven because all they did was betrayal. All right, that's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.